What's up? How's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. This rainy Tuesday. I'm hanging out in the garage. <clears throat> so here, just kind of loving the sound of this rain. Got this California rain going on. Okay, Facebook, here, let me take you around. So, oh, yeah, there we go. Rain! Hi, Leah! Hi, Katie! Katie, I was just going to text you back. No worries. Yes, I'm helping out tonight. Audric is actually asleep on the couch right now, so hopefully we make it as well. <clears throat> you like my lipstick? We're going to be, um, hold on, hold on. Where's my, hold on, where's my prop? Hold on, guys. This is really important. Um, where did it go? I had a prop. Where did it go? Hold on. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Um, here we go. This will work. Well, okay. Sorry, guys. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. This will work. So we're talking about football, right? All right. Who's ready to talk about football? Kirsten? Amber? You guys ready to talk about football? Let's do this! Okay, so my husband got this new TV for the garage. Can you guys see? Okay, there we go. And I don't really know how to figure it out, but I'm going to try. Hi, Tina. <laughs> All right, we're talking, uh, we're talking sports. We're talking football today. And um, I just wanted to come on and say that, you know, fantasy football is not just for men. Women can totally do it. And I bet you there's some amazing women, like, winners of fantasy fo football. Does anybody, is anybody, any ladies playing fantasy football. I want to hear from you. Like, put in the comments. I want to hear what your team name is. I hear you got to pick a really cool team name. Okay, but let me get some sports going on. I was going to put, um, let's see, TV shows, movies. Where's my sports? I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm over that part. All right, so let's get to the, um, I know you guys came to talk football, so let's get into it. All right, so um, if I ever wanted to play, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. And we're hanging out in the garage, you know, in the man cave because I feel inspired here. You know, I feel like, I feel really inspired. Does anyone else get that feeling when they're, when they're looking at our our man cave here. Okay, so let's talk um, let's talk fantasy football. So first and foremost, what you need to do is you need to print out print out rankings rankings for all positions. This is really important, guys, okay? So um, there's no perfect rankings. But um, it says the most preseason cheat sheets. Now, I get it, you guys. I, I do know that we're coming upon the end of football season. So I don't even know. I mean, football, fantasy football, you already, like, this you got to start, like, before the season starts, right? Who are my dudes on here? Anybody, um, right? You got to start this. But I just thought, you know, I would come on and teach you guys a little bit about so that next season you guys are prepared and sorry I'm talking to different places here but Instagram people I want you guys to be prepared ladies or or men who don't necessarily play fantasy football I'm here to give you some really great tips so we're in the man cave can't get sports going on but that's okay got a new TV I'll figure it out at some point I'm really good at figuring out the TV as well so if you guys need help on that you know, the more remotes, the better. Um, I could definitely help you with that. But anyway, so back to fantasy football. Um, okay, so the most, pre so when you get the preseason, so this is key, guys, write this down. So that way next season you'll be prepared, but you definitely want to, um, you know, get the preseason cheat sheets, apparently, okay? Um, and that's where they're going to value the best players um, pretty closely over, you know, overall. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, you want to keep a list of potential sleepers. 
Okay, so this lingo I may not be that familiar with, but we'll look it up here. I'm sitting on the, um, let's see, I'm sitting on this block here. This is better. Let me, let me sit up here. I hope this is okay, Pete, that I'm sitting this way on the block. Okay. And when I say block, I mean the, the thing that you jump on when you want to exercise. Okay, let me fix this. Okay, I'm all tweaked out here. All right, not in the right position. Okay, there we go. This is better. Um, okay, so ladies, does anyone play fantasy football? I want to see some... I want to see some hands raised. Anybody? Or any men on play fantasy football? Okay, so we're talking about for next season, we want to be prepared. So we're going to we're going to we're going to number 1 look for that preseason cheat sheet. Okay? That's number 1, and you want to print out rankings for all positions. Number 2 is you want to keep a list of potential sleepers. Um, okay. So in my fantasy league, I sometimes need We'll have to determine what sleepers. Okay, hold on. Let me just get through this real quick. And I can send you this information, guys. I just, I just Googled it. So if you're really interested, I would love to send you this information. Just message me, and I'd be happy to share it with you. Um, now, is there basketball? Anybody know? Is there like fantasy basketball, or is it just fantasy football? I've only really heard of fantasy football, but anyway. Um, so you want to keep a list of potential sleepers. The third thing is you want to read the expert's perfect draft. Okay. So again, we're looking for um, information to help us pick our, our perfect team. So that's um, the next step. You need to know your league scoring system. Okay. So we need to know our league scoring system. Yeah. Okay. That's important, you guys. You don't want to miss that. Um, and you don't draft with only your heart. So don't just go with your favorite team, you know, or just what you've always known or your family's favorite stuff. You need to um, sometimes take your heart out of it if you really want to win. Okay, guys? So just saying, you know, it's something you might want to look into. Um, okay, so that's that. So really, those are my top tips, you guys, on fantasy football and again I know we're towards the end of the season um, but you know hopefully that will help maybe save this video in your Facebook um, you know saved videos so that when you're ready to um, sign up for fantasy football next year then you have these um, you have these notes and again reach out and I can definitely share um, some more details I don't want to you know go read it all because it's a lot of information but Super, super helpful. And having nothing to do with fantasy football or sports, um, unless you consider skincare a sport, which we would be. Um, I think we're about an $11 million billion industry, so we could be a sport. We could be in between football and basketball, I think. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So having nothing to do with fantasy football, I am having an awesome skincare event tonight. And, you know, rain or shine, it's going to be an amazing event. Right now it's raining. It's here in Irvine. So my local friends, if you're interested in joining me, um, I'm going to have Audric with me tonight because my, uh, my hubby's working. So, um, you know, if you need to bring your kid, no worries. Um, we're going to be down in Irvine and we're going to be talking business. We're going to be talking skincare. Um, and actually we're going to have a little contouring um, little contouring action as well. So if you're interested, message me, and I'd love to share uh, the info with you. If you're not um, local in the area, that's no problem either. I can um, I could definitely help you with a skin con skincare consultation um, that we could do over the phone or via uh, messenger or text. So I'm here for you guys, and I hope the really I hope the fantasy football tips will help you next season. And I uh, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Hope to see you tonight. Oh, I almost fell. Okay, bye guys. All right, bye Instagram and bye Facebook. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Auntie. I miss you. All right, bye guys.